Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. Uh, a little while back, I uh, did a video where I showed you or gave you the power to summon in giant robot spiders and uh, kitties into your world using command blocks. Now, this video, I would like to show you how you can do something like that yourself. So, if you have any missiles that you made or any flying machines or robots and stuff, and you should totally watch this video because I'll tell you and explain you how you can turn those into commands uh, that you can give to your friends and like use another service and stuff. It's really useful. Um, so before you stands the uh, MacMaster 9 million from uh, Minecraft Story Mode, or at least my version of it. Um, and I would like to turn this into a, th a thing that I can summon with one command. Now, before we can do that, uh, there's a couple things we will need. Uh, we will need to download the program called MC Edit, uh, which is like an external program with, which allows you to copy and like do like very big stuff um, like outside the game. Um, and the second thing we need to do is actually there's three things we need to do. The second thing we need to do is we need to download Mr. Garetto's uh, slime block filter. Um, it's basically a filter for MC Edit or like a special program uh, that turns a structure that is properly prepared into one command. Uh, we have to download it from his uh, web page, which I'll show in a bit. And then the third thing, and that's what actually the thing we're going to start with right now, is we need to prepare the machine. And the way we do that is uh, we need to give ourselves some barrier blocks. And what we'll be doing is we'll be looking for any block update detectors and you might be wondering well wait 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 what's a block update detector well sumavoy did a video on them recently and they're like an ancient old principle uh, but the idea is that when uh, there's a piston like diagonally towards a uh, uh, redstone block as soon as it receives an update um, it will move and it will basically constantly keep doing that but um, if you do it the other way around like this uh, it hasn't really realized that it's sort of being powered right now. It's a super, like it's literally the most useful feature. <laughs> Some may call it a bug, but it's like the, the most useful feature in the game when it comes to piston mechanics. Um, and um, another thing we're looking for is pistons that are right next to redstone blocks, but are, that are not extended. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to jam all those pistons with barrier blocks. Barrier blocks are basically similar to bedrock, like they're immovable, can't move them, uh, but uh, they, are, they are invisible. Like when you don't have them selected, they uh, eventually disappear like so. And then if you select them, you can show them again. So I'm just looking for any uh, of these block update detectors or piston caterpillars in my case, that's what I like to call them because that's basically what they are. And there's one here. We still have this one. Some of them are like, it, it takes a bit of time to get used to like seeing them. Uh, there's one there. Uh, I think those are the ones above the waist, pretty much. Uh, and then another thing we have to do is we have to uh, find any pistons that are extended and then basically put a barrier oh, bef before they start extending. Uh, so here as well, yoink. And yoink. Um, and that is basically the preparations needed before we can use uh, the filter. So the next step is to download MC Edit. Now, before we go more into that, uh, there is multiple versions of MC Edit uh, out there. Uh, there, like version two came out, and it's still a work in progress. Uh, what I'm about to show you will also work in MC Edit version 2, um, but I'm not a big fan of version 2. I really like the old version. <laughs> um, so I'm actually going to, seeing as that's what I'm like skilled with, uh, show you how to do it uh, with the old version. Uh, but I, I can 100% guarantee you that it will work pretty much almost exactly the same in the, uh, in the old one. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to Alt-Tab and then go to Mr. Goretto's website. Uh, he's the guy that 
uh, especially went out of his way to write the filter uh, that we can use to uh, to do this sort of stuff. Now there's a couple here. Uh, he recently did a video on his uh, structure filter. Uh, that one does not rely on like slime lock stuff. Um, but the one we will be needing is the slime block machine to command 1.8 filter. Um, so you have to download that. Um, and then once you have downloaded that, uh, you have to put that file in the in the filters folder of your MC edit uh, client. Now I'm using 0 0.1.7.1. Uh, that's an old version. And uh, you basically find the uh, filters uh, folder and you just, you know, plop in the file. So uh, this is the one that I have right now. It's the most updated one. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, you merely uh, start up MC Edit. Uh, I have it, have it here. So we start up MC Edit. And then we, uh, it gives a warning, blah, blah, blah. Um, then we load the world, which is this one. Now, the thing with the old MC edit is it doesn't support all block types. And basically all the blocks that it doesn't recognize are shown as purple, uh, which might be annoying to some people, but I don't really care. Like, I I know what they are. Like, they are slime blocks, in this case, and redstone blocks. Um, and like all the major work I do in single player anyway. But anyways, after you've done that, you will have to basically you have the selector thingy um, and you have to uh, select the whole machine. So you can just select an area and like start expanding it. So we will try our best to select the whole machine all the way down to the floor like so. Oh, I missed a little bit here. There we go. So now we have the whole thing. And then what we do is we go to filters and I have a bunch of filters here. Um, I want to use this one. And then we click, click filter and we get a command block. Now, just for reference, you see the little like blue cube in the corner, right? That's the uh, like X, that's the sort of zero, zero on the X, Y, Z axis or zero, zero, zero. Uh, and this command block is basically pasting it as if it's, uh, yeah, basically where I'm holding it right now. Um, so that means if I plop down my command block here and we were to activate it, it would basically, the robot would appear like here, just to give you a, a general idea. Now, anyways, once we've done that, we click Control S to save, or you can just go to save, whatever, whatever you want. And then we go back to Minecraft and we click save and quit here to title. And then we reload the, uh, the world. And what do you know? There's a command block here now. It is amazing. Now this command block contains the super long command that you need in order to summon this machine in. Um, and I'll just uh, activate it with a redstone block. And there we go. The MechMaster 9 million. And hopefully if I didn't screw anything up, this thing will now start moving and working. And uh, the cool thing about this then is that if I were to give myself a command block, uh, 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 and I were to, you know, right click this command, select everything, control C to copy the command. And I don't know, then I go uh, here, bloop, place this one down paste it in with control V and we have another one. So you kind of get the idea. This is super useful. You can take it to an online server and like paste in your stuff, paste in missiles. Uh, and my ultimate goal at the moment is to basically have everything I've made so far uh, available as one command structures. Uh, and there will be a link in the description to a Google document because that's a work. It's a work in progress. Uh, you can already summon in, um, Mr. <laughs> Mr. You can already summon in uh, robot Colossus at the moment, uh, but I, I plan on adding um, mega gargantua as well. You know, the robot unicorns, all the missiles, all that sort of stuff, like different cannons, elevators. Eventually I want, uh, yeah, all my stuff to just be 
able to uh, to be summoned in into worlds using commands. Um, but yeah, now now you know how to do this as well. Major shout out to Mr. Garetto. Uh, so if you need to filter, you just go check out his website. And if you're interested in the structure filter, uh, you can uh, find a video about that uh, on his channel. And uh, yeah, this thing will obviously be included in the Google document. So you can go check that out as well. Uh, like always, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more cool content. And uh, yeah. Should sure leave a like on the video and I will see you all uh, later. Bye bye.